Joe Cepeda on On With Star Trek Nature's Hunger, and we have a fabulous treat where we have the wonderful and amazing uh, Leslie Sawyer that's with us for an, an incredible interview, so please stay with us. So uh, we'll start off with uh, an easy softball question, and you could <laughs> tell us something about yourself. I'm an actress by trade, <laughs> trying to be one anyway, <laughs> and I certainly do love doing the Star Trek fan films. I've done a lot of work in uh, TV and film, uh, mostly background, uh, but I have done some other independent films where I've had dialogue. Um, but uh, as far as A Fighting Chance goes, I'm actually finding this to be rather challenging. Um, I do get to play various roles. So uh, I am playing the part of uh, Veronica Pepperstone, and she is uh, she has a British accent. I also get to play the part of her mother, and a young version of her mother, as well as an older version of her mother. Uh, and her name, uh, yes, I think I mentioned, is Gloria uh, Pepperstone. And then there's a third uh, character I'm portraying, which is Nancy Rand. Uh, who is the older sister of Janice Rand. So I'm finding all of these different characters to be very interesting. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's very challenging. <laughs> Were there any special uh, preparations or things that you had to do to get ready for this film and for your characters? Uh, actually, what I did was for Veronica Pepperstone, since she uh, comes from a very magical land uh, where they do do a lot of sorcery and witchcraft and stuff like that. I actually decided to go ahead and watch uh, a couple of Harry Potter films <laughs> to sort of get that vibe and to try to sort of get that mindset as to what, what would it be like to sort of be in a world like that or from a world like that. Uh, so I did try to get some inspiration from the uh, Harry Potter series. Uh, as far as uh, Nancy Rand goes, I did watch a few clips uh, of Janice Rand just to get a feel for that particular character. What would her sister be like? Would she be spot on uh, to being very much like Janice? Or would she sort of have her own little type of personality? Uh, I. I definitely wanted uh, Nancy to have her own personality, but still kind of, so people can sort of still feel like, yeah, there's that potential where they might be related, that they are sisters. And then as far as Gloria uh, Pepperstone goes, I could see a lot of correlation between that character and actually Endora from uh, Bewitched. Um, kind of a meddling mother and wanting the daughter to do her witchcraft even though the daughter really wants to do be a Starfleet officer. A lot of similarities. So I did get my inspiration on how to do Gloria from being Endora on, uh, on Bewitched. So what issues and struggles and challenges did your character face? Well, I really don't want to give away, obviously, too much of the plot. <laughs> I want people to watch. <laughs> but um, there's definitely a lot of struggle. As I mentioned, Gloria is very similar uh, as like the character in Dora. She's very meddling. And she definitely wants different things for Veronica than what Veronica wants. So you're going to see that conflict with that. Uh, and even um, when Veronica was a young child, you're going to see scenes with uh, uh, the mother when she was younger, with the little girl, the daughter, uh, when Veronica was young. So they've been having their little challenges for forever. <laughs> um, and uh, as far as Veronica goes, she of course has her own personal demons. She wants to try to prove herself to the captain, to become worthy. Uh, and be a counselor on the ship uh, and she's so she's she has little struggles there with the captain there's some juicy scenes there with Captain Ramsey's uh, and then um, as far as uh, Nancy Rand goes Nancy 
uh, also does have her. She has her own goals in mind. She really, really wants to become a captain, actually. Uh, no more of this ensign stuff for her. Does she become a captain? Who knows? But she's going to do everything she can to try to get that center seat. So stay tuned and watch the movie to see if you find out what ultimately happens to her. <laughs> Wow, you're, you're getting us uh, very excited, Leslie. So <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> it leads perfectly into the next question. Okay. So why should we watch uh, A Fighting Chance? What's in there for us to see? Oh, well, hey, there you go. Beautiful segue. <laughs> uh, well, pretty much with the, the things I said, um, it's there's a lot of action. I mean, this movie is so jam-packed with action. I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, it, it's just mind-blowing to me when I would get the script from Jose and he would give me a breakdown of what he had come up with. I was just like, oh my gosh, how are you going to pull this off? A lot of special effects are going to be in this movie. Lots. Um, and then uh, there's tons of drama. I mean, big, big time drama. Uh, and, you know, I, I like a lot of cliffhangers, tons of cliffhangers, where you're just going to be like on the edge of your seat wanting to know, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Uh, and a lot of twists and turns. What I love about this movie is the fact that you will probably be thinking, oh, I'm sure blah, blah, blah will end up happening. Uh, you probably won't be right. Um, I just love all the little twists and turns and the ending Wow, it's got a fantastic ending that nobody would ever, ever see coming. So definitely, it's it's going to pretty much have it all. <laughs> so in closing, is there anything else that uh, we need to know or anything else that you wish to share with us? Uh, just watch A Fighting Chance. <laughs> Give it a fighting chance. <laughs> it really is. It, won't, it will not disappoint. Trust me on that. It will not disappoint. It's going to be really amazing.